gonna be showing y'all how I did these long ponytails on my hair using Ali Pearl hair, y'all. This hair, y'all could just really see it for y'all self. I mean, it's gorgeous, literally gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's like surprisingly gorgeous. And then the fact that I dyed this hair, like I dyed this hair red and it's still, it's still gorgeous. Like, y'all, I can put my fingers through it and everything. Like, it is so gorgeous. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I was, I'm, I'm surprised. I, will, I am surprised because I, I mean, a lot of times you lose the integrity of the hair when you dye it and like this hair is still gorgeous. So if you are looking for some body wave hair that you can dye, this is it. This is it. I, I, I'm going to swear by this. This is it. This is it. I was not expecting this hair to be this soft and the curl pattern. I thought it was gone. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I washed it out, the hair was looking straight. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what's happening. So I hung it up on a hanger. I still have some hair right here. I hung it up on a hanger, and when I went back, it was curl. It was it was back curly. So it just dried that way. I didn't have to do anything to it. I just put it on a hanger and let it dry. I was nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh my god, I think I didn't mess this hair up. But no. And then, this is how I knew it was some good hair. When I took the bundles apart, they just unraveled just smoothly. And if y'all some weave wearers and y'all wear curly hair, y'all know sometimes when you have curly hair, when you unravel it from out of the bundle, how it comes, it be getting tangled together or stuck together. No, it just slid straight through. I was like, I'm shooketh. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all need to go get on this hair so fast, like so fast go go it's in the description bar below y'all already know how i'm coming i ain't gonna send y'all off y'all already know how i'm coming so when i tell y'all this hair so fast that's what i mean okay like come on now sis oh and if you would like to see how i did the braids that is in my previous video so as y'all know before if y'all our subscribers and if y'all not go subscribe and click the bell but if y'all are my subscribers and y'all saw my last video y'all know i had i did these um a more jade inspired braids and they were really really long they came all the way down to my thighs what i did was i cut them and burned the ends using my flat irons i didn't use i just took the ends i said and i held it on there until they melted off um so yeah let's get started Okay, y'all, so I'm starting off with these bundles. They sent me an 18, 20, and a 22. And they also sent me a 16-inch closure that I won't be using in this video. But I'm using this Color Charm Wella Bleach and Developer. And I'm just going to mix that together till I get a pretty loose consistency. And then I'm just going to apply it right onto the hair. This is like the normal way I always bleach hair. People always ask me to include how I color the hair in, in my video. So that's why I put it in the video this time. I normally don't. But yeah. Okay, y'all, so keep in mind that I did let the hair sit with the bleach on it for about 30, well, no, for about 40 minutes. Um, and I'm going to be using three colors, um, two from Adore and one from, honestly, I forgot the name of the company, but sorry. But it was uh, one color called Ruby Red, one color called True Red, and then one color called Magenta. Okay, so I'm going to be using a lot of this red color. I'm going to make sure that I'm getting every little bit and piece of this hair 
and also I let this sit on the hair for about five to six hours it doesn't have any ammonia or any harsh chemicals in it so it doesn't matter that I let it sit on there that long but I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the actual process of me putting the invisible ponytail in so I'm going to be starting off with the hair folded in half and I'm going to be taking the end that has the two loose pieces and I'm going to be taking a needle. I'm using a needle and thread. I know some people use glue, but I don't. I'm just going to be taking the needle through and making a knot. So I'm just going to be taking the needle and thread through the bottom part. And I'm just going to be pushing the needle through the bottom part of my braid. And so that's going to connect the track to the bottom. And then I'm going to be taking the needle back through the back of the braid and going through the weft of the track. After I get it on there really tight, I'm going to begin to wrap the hair. And so I'm going to wrap maybe about three times and then I'm going to do a stitch. And then I'm going to wrap a few more times and I'm going to do a stitch. Then I'm just going to wrap a few more times and I'm going to do a stitch. So that's pretty much how I sew on the wefts instead of gluing. It's the same thing wrapping the hair around. Only difference is I'm going to be stitching and I'm not going through the weft. I'm going around the weft. So now that I made it to the end, I'm going to go ahead and sew through the braid and then sew through the weft and tie it off. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a piece from inside, a pretty thick piece because I'm going to be covering quite a bit. So I'm covering the track part and then I'm covering some of the braid. Um I didn't want to I didn't want to do it too close to my like the back of my hair because I didn't want it to be too tight right there, but I am going to wrap up so it could cover quite a bit because I'm going to put some gold string on it. But I'm just going to be covering that and then I'm going to spray some spritz on it. I'm going to be real generous with the spritz. Then I'm going to use my flat iron to hold that spritz and that um, piece of hair in place. And I'm just going to make sure that it's smooth. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some gold string. I'm just going to be wrapping it around twice and then tying it up in the back. I just did the same thing on the other side so I'm doing it on this side just so it can match and that's 
pretty much it and this is going to be the final look i hope y'all really enjoyed this tutorial and like this hairstyle if y'all try it tag me in it or send me pictures on snapchat or instagram or something thank you all for watching i love y'all and i appreciate y'all so much i hope y'all like it bye